Hi, thank you for tuning in, uh, especially for all of you out there in the, in the diaspora. Uh, we've received a lot of comments in the last two weeks uh, from some of the videos that have been posted uh, by some of our clients, and I really appreciate your engagement. Uh, in fact, uh, just last week we received a question from um, uh, Juliet Muirigi out in the diaspora, and she was asking us to share on tips uh, on how to acquire land in Kenya when you're in the diaspora. So that's what I'm going to be sharing about today. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm Solomon Wangwe. You're watching Own Land in Kenya. So if you're in the diaspora and you're thinking about investing back home in Kenya, um, that's a great thing. I mean, after all, as they say, east or west, home is best. Uh, I lived in the diaspora myself for about 11 years. And so I understand the itch uh, that we all get at some point to reconnect uh, with our roots back home in Kenya. Um, and one of the best ways to do that is by investing and and buying property or, or investing in businesses or whatever it is that you think you need to do to plug in a material sense back home. And, and, and that's something I really appreciate and understand. Uh, but a lot of people are concerned about uh, how to do it. Uh, what's the process? Who do I trust uh, to do it? I'm not home. I haven't been home in forever. I don't know what the legal structures are. What does the law say? What's available? And so on. And so the first thing I will, uh, I'll say that you need to do if you're in the diaspora looking to invest back home is be clear about your goals. That you can't be wishy-washy about. Otherwise, it's, it's your first step downwards into problems. So you need to decide, am I buying or, or investing back home for capital gains or capital returns? Am I trying to multiply money, in other words? Or do I want to build an asset base back home uh, that I can either use myself when I get back home or collect a passive income from uh, through rentals while I am in the diaspora? Or am I looking to do something in agriculture? Uh, so do I need to buy agricultural land versus uh, residential or commercial land? So you need to be very clear about what your goals are. And along with that, I should say, you need to ensure that you are still a Kenyan citizen, um, especially with regards to land. If you're buying commercial property, which are leasehold, then it's fine. It doesn't really matter. But if you're going to think about investing in land, which is what we specialize in, then you need to absolutely uh, ensure that your status as a Kenyan citizen is good. Because legally, if you're not a Kenyan citizen, you cannot own land agricultural land uh, specifically in this country uh, and then know what your goals are so that's a that's a very first thing I will encourage you guys to do secondly you need to spend a little bit of time uh, educating yourself on what the opportunities are back home and I know it's in it's, it can be incredibly difficult to do because uh, you know if you're if you're anything like me in the diaspora you don't have time uh, to dilly dally and 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 do do other things, even when they are important things. You're busy at work, uh, in some cases two three jobs, um, but you really have to make time, one way or the other, to find out what the opportunities are. Either ask people back home, get online, read articles, uh, investment reports. Um, you know, I just read one this, this week, for example, from Haas Consult. It's a Haas property or land index. Uh, and, and, you know, the conclusion of it basically said that land in Kenya over the last 30, 35 years has been the most stable uh, investment vehicle. And even better than any other commodity or, or any other asset uh, investment. So, you know, reading reports can be incredibly helpful to build confidence, number one, get you informed so that you can tell when someone is telling you rubbish, uh, and then you can make a decision from there. So get online, ask questions, call people. Uh, we've received lots of questions in the last two weeks from uh, folks in the diaspora about how to go about buying land. 
that's a great way to engage and I highly encourage you all uh, to do so. In the next episode, uh, I'll be sharing uh, more tips on, on how you should go about investing in land. Um, if you have questions, please get on our Facebook page or you know, send us an, a message through our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also send an email to inquiry at goshenacquisitions.com. We're also happy to receive calls from you. Uh, at 07001001. Again, that's 07001001. And we'll, we'll be happy to engage with you that way. You're watching Own Land in Kenya. I'm Solomon Wangwe. And stay tuned for more information on strategic land investment.